Hi, everybody. Uh, today we're working on my 2007 Acura MDX. Uh, we're going to be installing a heel toe uh, J pipe performance uh, exhaust part here. Here's the part right here. Really beautiful part, well manufactured. Uh, this is supposed to deliver some some noticeable performance gains, open up some restriction in the uh, exhaust stream. And so we'll get this installed. I've got this great toy MDX that I bought on eBay from China. Really cool, but it has a detailed underside here showing exactly uh, what we're going to be doing. So the J-pipe replaces the section of exhaust from here to here. So we'll need to remove this. And we're probably going to need to remove this subframe cross member here, but we'll see what happens. Now, heel toe makes um, these J-pipes not just for the MDX. They make it for a lot of different Acura cars, and I think some Hondas as well. And there aren't a lot of options for uh, performance parts for an MDX. Actually, I haven't been able to find really any at all. Performance suspension, nothing. So I was really happy to find out that uh, there's an option for performance even just a little bit. Okay, so now we can see the actual part we're going to be removing. And it comes and connects down up to this point here. And you can see just by looking at it, there's a really uh, major restriction of the downpipes. So right here, there's a whole bunch of restriction. These are on here pretty tight, so I think some penetrating oil is going to be your friend here. And in some cases, having a nice breaker bar like this is going to help you to crack these bolts. And we'll go ahead and get this uh, subframe member out as well so that we can drop the J frame when we get to that point. There's three 10 millimeter nuts or bolts and a couple of plastic clips. If you're careful, these will come out with a, a screwdriver or a couple of screwdrivers going in from each side. But they also sell these uh, plastic clip removers which uh, increase the chances of you getting these out without breaking them. And if you do break them, you know, get, get some on eBay or someplace. It's a lot cheaper than the, de the dealer. Impact tools are your friend. You can do the job without them, but I wouldn't want to. Okay, so there's an exhaust hanger mount right here. What I'm going to do is just take off the hanger together with the exhaust, and then we can work this thing off when it's out of the car. And this, this is held in by a couple of 12 millimeter. Okay, so all the bolts have been removed. The only thing holding it in here is friction, so we'll just... Uh, tap and pry until it comes out.
And there it comes. Okay, so we're also going to get the resonator out of here. First remove the heat shield. It's probably easier to take the resonator out together with just the rest of the exhaust. I just didn't think I just didn't think that far ahead. So we got the post cat out. Just inspect to make sure everything lines up. You can really tell just by looking at this thing how much, just how much less restriction there is in the system. I mean, look at this. It's squished down to half the thickness of the pipe here to go into the into the flex joint. Okay, one thing that I've noticed here is the kit doesn't come with the hardware necessary to uh, connect this through here. Yeah, I've managed to scrounge up a few bolts I can use. All right, so let's go ahead and get this off. Spray just a little bit of lubricant on there. Then just take a pair of channel lock pliers and kind of squeeze it off of there. And stick it on the new one. And to help with later disassembly, if you ever think you're going to take this part off the car, or even if not, put a little bit of... Uh, anti-seize compound on the threads. Okay, let's put it on in. We'll just start one by hand, just a couple threads under to hold it in place. Okay, so that slid in. I had to wrestle it just a little bit to get it to go, but now both the front and the rear down, down pipe collectors are threaded in. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this back in. Okay. Alright, the job is complete. We'll clean this mess up and then go out and take a test drive. Okay, start it up for the first time. Alright, at idle speed it sounds pretty much the same as stock, which is not surprising. Okay, sounds pretty normal. I mean, uh, at normal speeds, we'll, we'll open it up and see what it feels like when you step on the gas. Yeah, there's a difference. Not not a giant difference. It feels like there's a, a it, it breathes a little bit better. It's not quite as uh, hesitant to, to uh, apply power. It's not significantly louder in any way. It's a good mild improvement. If anything, it sounds maybe just a little bit more throaty. 
and uh, it seems like when I step on the throttle it, it opens up a little more. At regular cruising speeds it sounds really pretty much the same as stock, but when you stomp on it and get it up to high, uh, high engine RPMs, then you can tell it has definitely a, a little bit more uh, punch to it. I wouldn't say that it's a night and day difference. It's not like you just suddenly added 100 horsepower or something like that. I'm guessing it feels like maybe an extra 10 or 15 horsepower. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you think that the first 300 horsepower are really just to get the car moving around, then any, anything that, any horsepower that you add is, is basically performance. So under high throttle situations or heavy load situations where you're really stomping on the throttle, I'd say it, it does make it feel uh, a little bit better. Okay, so that's a brief how-to on installing the heel-to-toe J-pipe and uh, a little review on the performance and characteristics of it. Thanks for watching.